Hello there, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another episode of the Bad Legacy Let's Play series. It's been a while on my side, it's been a while on this channel, <laughs> I haven't posted in a couple of weeks. Um, but welcome back, this is Roxanne, um, as usual. I have not been in this save file in a while, I actually attempted to film this episode on time a couple of weeks back. Um, you might have caught my announcement about how it was so boring that I gave up. Um, and then I fell into a little bit of a mood of despair. <laughs> and um, I wasn't able to actually think creatively enough to even do anything remotely creative. But here we are back again, I feel a little bit better now. And um, this is Filippo's new room. I gave Filippo's room a makeover after the family reunion, which is last episode for you. So if you were just like binging it, it wouldn't have felt like any time has passed in between and all but if you've been like following this episode by episode then I'm so sorry <laughs> that you had to wait so long for the next one but we're here now and I'm trying my best to to bring you an episode worth watching thanks for your patience by the way but yeah this is Filippo's new room I decided that Filippo is gonna be staying in this house for quite a while um, I checked his little you know timeline i mean it's like completely filled out but sometimes i do pop into mc command center i don't i try not to do it too often where is he oh okay he's here oh yeah what a what a warning today's episode is gonna be a little bit more casual a bit more like really really follow me while i let's play because i just i need to get used to doing this again um it does say that he has 87 days including 94 bonus days left so i'm assuming this means that he has 87 days left and this is within his bonus 94 days either way he's gonna be a very long-lived spellcaster sim and um, which is fine it matches his kind of like character as a very very amazing spellcaster sim that you know just is magical and can live forever so i assume he's gonna be here he might even outlive his children just because he's just that powerful so we'll see how that goes uh, everyone is in a myriad of different emotions right now this is not the day after the family reunion by the way the family reunion was done on sunday if i'm not mistaken so it means that monday and Tuesday was what I did or tried to film and failed because it was so boring um, that I scripted it. Um, but the, the progress has been saved. So we are now at Winterfest Eve. Everyone just came back from school. We've got the tree set up. Most of this was done with the entire family. Roxanne went to drama so he didn't do as much but he did manage to do a little bit of decoration as well. Um, he's currently feeling mortified because he's having a mood swing. Same as Dante actually. Dante is also having a mood swing. It's just that Dante's mood swing is in the form of sadness. <laughs> On Roxanne's transformation, hormone therapy, changes solidifying. Changes have continued their progress and Roxanne feels more himself than ever. It is not just the physical changes, it's also how they impact him mentally. It's life-changing for Roxanne to feel more at ease with the chemical balance impacting his body and brain to feel less betrayed by the body he inhabits. The person in the mirror is now less of a stranger and Roxanne does not dread every encounter with his reflection quite as much anymore. So that's on Roxanne. It is Winterfest Eve and we do have some traditions to go like doing sp festive spirit and also some snow fun. Maybe I'll get the kids to go out and build a snowman or something. But they're kind of hungry. Okay, maybe everyone should just go eat first. <laughs> I even got the um, table set up for um, decor um, for for Winterfest as well. And Filippo, when he was at home waiting for the kids to come home from school, he also dug out some decoration to decorate around the house. We decided to be a little bit more festive this year, or rather, try to be. Let's bring out some of these leftovers. I got Isla to prepare lots of food while waiting for the kids to come home. Chance, let's go and call to meal. This, there are some nice lamb with garden veggies on the table. Isla also baked a nice reindeer cake that is already half eaten, <laughs> very cute. Kaden, you're actually kind of full, so maybe that's not. Maybe you can grab a hot cross bun, bun instead. Okay, everybody, come get some food, sit at the table, have a nice dinner. I will clear this just in case. Oh, but it seems like some of them want to sit in the living room. 
I guess I won't stop them from doing that. Anya needs to pee, but once Anya's done with peeing, I was wondering if maybe they can all go out and build some snowmen here and there. Oh my goodness, Roxanne's not feeling the best. Oh no, what is this? What is this way is moving? This is so weird. I don't think anyone is really building any snowmen. Snow pal. The only ones who actually start the snow pal and finished it is Chance and Roxanne which is fine I didn't even catch a moment but okay I'm gonna get Chance to go deal with his needs and then before he goes to sleep because he kind of has a little bit of energy still he's going to go and continue on his book which is the workout guide his weight loss journey and Ayla you need to pee go pee and then brush your teeth maybe then you can go to sleep Filippo is already going to catch up on his sleep but I would say let's have Filippo take a bath first and then go to sleep. I really like his room. I designed his room this way because when we found Ayla and her family, they were living in Sulani and I really wanted Filippo and his family to really love Sulani. Like I would imagine that he wasn't born there but he feels very much like a Sulanian so he actually misses it because he actually moved to Brindleton Bay to be closer to um, to Isla and her family quite many years ago. So I think with this design, he's trying to pepper some of that Sulanian vibe back into his room. So yeah, that's what um, went through my head when I did this. Oh, and um, speaking of designing, well it's not really designing but um, I mean Roxanne's room has always been big enough for a lot of things so I have moved Anya's table and all of her pictures and everything into this room and then some of her clothing, her mirror is all here now. It literally doesn't feel like an inconvenience to Roxanne because of how big Roxanne's room is and I guess Roxanne is actually okay with sharing. Maybe not the most happy because Roxanne has always had his own room but I don't think it is a deal breaker for them. Oh yeah, did I mention? I think this is the last thing, but <laughs> uh, I have framed this picture from the family reunion in the house and added some photos from the various trips and activities that the family has been on all around the house including some more photos like the children having that snowball fight. There are still empty frames waiting for new photos to put in but for now these are the photos that we have chosen and over time it will fill up even more. I did get a memory like a keepsake box oh perfectionist yes I'm surprised that he's not a perfectionist already but yeah, <laughs> like I was saying, keepsake box, don't know how to use it yet, don't know what I'm going to put inside yet, but Filippo has it now, so let me know what you think I should put inside. I still don't know what to put inside yet, and I don't think we are in a rush anyways, it's just to get it since we have it now because of the, the Growing Together pack, which I wanted to say new, but it's not new anymore. In about a matter of days, we're getting a new expansion pack already, the horse pack. Can you imagine? I wonder if they're going to get horses on this lot. They totally can, they have so much space, especially if I decide that this is too much for me because the greenhouse is horrible. I do have a mod now that keeps them, you know, alive so hopefully that keeps everything alive <laughs> and not have them reset every single time otherwise i might just change this into like a farm and have horses instead but that's gonna be so much work because we'll have to take care of horses now and when we had to take care of cows and llamas was it cows only or did I, do we have llamas oh cows and chickens that was not the funnest of time i would say oh dante you're up well i guess since he's up i'm going to get dante to add to the presents under the tree and also do some little housekeeping around like feeding the feeding duchess and stuff like that just menial things dante's still kind of hungry huh i know there's a broken toilet i do want to get it fixed maybe dante should repair it um but he's a spell custer so he could really just um you know repair you just nice he has repair you oh mickey hello there mickey that's so cute i love seeing our uh, old family members in ghost form around the house i'm glad that dante is feeling better too because he was feeling kind of moody and mood swingy but now he's feeling okay so that's good and he oh yeah he has the wand too oh no he failed oh no he started a fire no Dante not the fire oh my god and don't we have chilio come on chilio it chilio um 
Okay, he's chilling. There we go. Okay, well, it's done. Everyone's awake now. <laughs> Lovely. Um, can we repair this now? <laughs> I hope he succeeds this time. Well, that was a rude awakening. Isla has gone to work out. It is like 4.30 a.m. and she feels kind of okay. So maybe she's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go work out to work off the tension. And Roxanne says, school is stupid. This is Roxanne to, I want to say Chan's. Chance would probably say society requires school for success. No, actually, would he say that? No, I think he will say school teaches important things because I think Chance gleaned a lot of important things from it. Oh no, it was to it was to um Filippo, but okay, he would have said the same thing anyway, so that's good. That's okay. Chance is grabbing some coffee. Dante has fixed at the bathroom. Wonderful. And he was n halfway through his meals. Okay, everybody's grabbing some like breakfast, midnight snack, a little bit of an in-between. Roxanne's also up. Roxanne is... Roxanne needs fun. But Roxanne needs to pee. Roxanne, since you're in the toilet, do you want to go pee? And then brush Narumi, play with Cat Wand, and maybe we'll have Roxanne just take a bath in her parents' bathroom. And Chance needs the bathroom as well, so he'll use this one over here, the hall bath. And he needs to sleep, but I want him to finish his writing he got interrupted by the fire can't believe we have a fire oh my goodness and we'll get him to oh wait did he finish it <gasps> he finished a book he did my weight loss journey that means that we can get it published now so let's get oh what is this submit oh submit book copy to literary digest oh Submitting a book copy to Literary Digest will grant a large amount of royalties which are received daily. This interaction can be performed once a week. Oh, lovely. Okay, let's go for this one. Large amount of royalties. Roxanne, what's up? Oh, you need some fun. Let's get you to sit here. It is in the morning time. We'll get you to play some incredible spots, maybe. Today's episode might actually just be Winterfest because I want to get back into the groove of things and then we'll figure out what happens. I'm not sure what will happen during this Winterfest, but I think I have a mind to get Roxanne to go meet um, Shoji in about another hour or so, maybe once Roxanne does not feel so... Um, oh no, actually his fun is done. It's his hygiene that needs help. I totally did not realize that. I'll get Roxanne to go take a bath and then he'll go out with a empty stomach because I think we'll go have lunch. Alrighty, the couple has met up. Let's go and give Shoji a gift. Um, I wonder- oh yeah, yeah, we do have to- I remember now. Let's give Shoji that this one. We wanted to give this portrait photo of that photo booth picture to Shoji, so... Yes, let's do that. I hope he likes it. It's like a photo of us. Do you like it? He looks like he likes it. Are you selling food, sir? Some Indian food? <gasps> yes! Okay, let's go order something to eat. Ooh, I don't know any of this. Let's go for... Tajine? Tahine? What is this? I don't know, but let's try it. Alright, they have sat down with their plate of tahine or tajine. I think it's tajine. Oh my goodness, and there's someone else in the conversation. No, thank you. We're just having a- Okay, he's not talking to us yet, so hopefully he doesn't talk to us. Anyways, like, there is a reason for me wanting to meet him right here. Basically, Roxanne wanted to like, just bring him out. I mean, like, have both of them go out. They're just having a little casual date. Um, and they're just talking, and one of the topics that came out was, um, Hey, I've actually invited you to my family um, quite a couple of times already. When are you gonna, you know, um, introduce me to yours? Um, I've never actually heard you talk about your family. What is happening there? Or rather, not what is happening there. I don't think Roxanne wants to come across as like he is um, interrogating Shoji, but more like um, he is interested to meet. Um, Shoji's family as well. And Shoji's like, oh, um, it's actually kind of complicated, but long story very short, he's actually an orphan and he lives in an orphanage. He just like kind of told Roxanne straight up. And Roxanne was like, oh, I, I see. I didn't mean to pry. I would probably think that Roxanne would feel a little bit bad that he kind of just asked a very normal question, assuming a very normal answer, and um, I think Roxanne would probably be a little bit like, oh, oh no, did I make a mistake by asking you that? And um, Shoji is visibly a little bit upset as well, but I think overall they're still okay, so Roxanne's like, 
holding his hand saying, you know, it doesn't matter to me. Or if you ever feel like you want to show me where you live and tell me your entire story, I will be very open to listen or meet your, you know, your family at the orphanage or something. And I hope I didn't hurt your feelings and Shoji's probably like, my feelings are not hurt. It is a little bit complicated to explain to people because it's kind of a complicated thing. And I know you mean no harm. I'm not really saying this very well, but you know what I'm trying to say. And they still, you know, they're very sweet. Maybe Shoji's like, do you want to see where I live? I don't mind bringing you over. So I think they're gonna go and um, head over to Shoji's orphanage, which is actually in Newcrest. Let me show you where it is. I placed it right here. Let's go. Alrighty, we are at Shoji's house right now. It looks like this. It's snowed over in Newcrest. We are in Newcrest and oh look at them being so sweet and all. These are all of his um I guess orphan siblings? Orphan mates? <laughs> what do you call these people? Well basically these are the people who live um in the orphanage, same as him, and they are his friends and family. And um, so I guess we're going to just go say hi to everybody, just go do respectful introduction to everyone. I see some slightly familiar faces here, like we have Yana. I feel like we've seen Yana around. We haven't seen Tony nor Rina, I think. Oh no, wait, actually we have seen Rina around before. Maybe in school? I don't know, but um, yeah. We just never knew that they were like all together. And this is probably the house mother. Prisha Kato? Yeah, Prisha Kato is the house mother. We should say hello. I'm changing Rina's outfit because she is freezing and we have said hello to the house mother. Um, I don't know what you actually call them but I'm just gonna call Prisha the house mother. <laughs> just makes sense to me in my head. And uh, yeah, I think Roxanne's feeling a little bit... Oh, there's a little bundle of surprise joy. This is Selena Kato. Everyone's last name is Kato. I imagine they just all took the last name of the founder of this place. Which, this is the Kato um, orphanage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, basically, this is not something that Roxanne knows, but I just want to tell you guys that um, Prisha is the wife of the person who founded this orphanage. And he has sadly passed since. So it's been like just these few people, um, all of them grown into teenagers. But Prisha really loves the work that her late husband does so she has you know continued by adopting another toddler and this is the only one that they have right now because everybody is like growing into young adults very soon so you know she's trying to make sure that the good work stays alive with this orphanage that's not something Roxanne is going to find out until much later ah, look at Shoji being so nice to his little sister so anyways this is Shoji's place I think Roxanne might be like a little shy so Roxanne might just be like you know what I'm gonna just stay outside he doesn't want to impose on them and their little sanctuary <gasps> Roxanne, you have to go to work? Don't go to work. No, I'm excusing you. I'm excusing you from work. Come back, come back. We have to say goodbye to Shoji. And then we have to go home to prepare for Winterfest. And Shoji's gonna be like, I can't join you for Winterfest today because um, we have our own like little tradition at the orphanage. So um, yeah, I'll see you at school. Love you. And um, yeah, we're gonna share some Winterfest excitement as well. And we're just gonna go we're just gonna go home and we'll have a lot of things to reflect on um regarding what shoji has divulged to us it's not like common common knowledge like only his closest friends maybe knows about it like he probably kissed it like as a not really a secret but like if no one asks that he's then he's not gonna tell because why would he like just say hey by the way i'm not friend you know let's have roxanne head home now to help his parents out with winterfest preparations Okay, what is everybody doing? I'm just getting Roxanne to skip um, club activities today because it's like Winterfest. Why would he go? Why would he go to the activity? I think we need to start cooking. So let's get... I love to cook like a grand meal. Let's just go classic today and go for a tour. No, wait, is there any vegetarians in the house? Oh no, there isn't. Okay, we're gonna go do a turkey dinner and I'm gonna get Anya to help out. I was like, help out. But Anya's doing yoga right now. I'm still gonna get Anya to help out anyways. Join cooking! And um, Roxanne's brewing some coffee. Let's hug Narumi, pet Narumi, and then maybe we'll join as well. 
We'll just pretend that Roxanne has washed his hands before joining. I always don't pay enough attention to Caden, so we should see like what Caden needs right now. He lost his first tooth. I wonder if he fixed it already. Is it back in his mouth? No, it, it grew back, I think. Yeah, he has his teeth back. Oh yes, we do need to learn how to ride a bike. You know what? We're gonna get him a bike. Um, and he can start learning in the springtime. He still has quite a couple of quite a couple of weeks as a child, so he has lots of time to learn how to ride a bike. This will be Caden's bicycle. Give it to Caden. Caden, put it in your inventory. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure if cycling in the snow is the best thing. It probably wouldn't hurt to practice a little bit, to be honest, but uh, I'd rather him just go take a nap <laughs> because he's kind of tired and we do have Winterfest to deal with. I'm gonna put this laptop right there because they will need the space for the feast. I'm gonna just make one of these. I'm not gonna waste too much money on food not that we don't have the money to waste but it's just a nice simple family dinner so i don't really see the need to do too much Ooh, i heard from g genova sims has told me that if we set the table kitten is playing with the violin right now but let's set the table with a um, fancy setting let's do let's do no wait actually maybe party let's do burgundy I think burgundy will look nice. Okay, Kaden is setting the table because I heard from G that it helps with everyone wanting to sit at the table to eat together and I want to make sure that they sit at the table and eat together if possible. Father Winter is already here! Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get Isla to call to Grand Meal now. I think it's time and everyone should also ask for presents from Father Winter because why not? Ala's in her pajamas. Lovely. Okay, this is not going as well as I thought it was going to go and um, I'm upset. <laughs> but it's okay, it's fine. They are just seated down, they're with Father Winter for some reason. Okay, the last thing we want to do is we want to get into the festive spirit. So maybe we'll come here and then we'll, um, we'll sing like a random song together just for this art and music spirit. I hope it works. Okay, okay they're gonna sing together. Where is um, Anya? I'm not sure if they're actually doing that. Oh, we should light trees together too because we haven't actually lit the tree. Yay, they lit it! Oh my goodness, it's so cute! Right! Okay, let's open the presents. Open presents with all of the family members too. Okay, Roxanne's doing it first. What did Roxanne- oh, Roxanne did not like it. Was it empty? It might have been empty. A carrot! Roxanne got a carrot! That's so funny. Okay, who else? What? Who got what? Oh, golly gee! Oh, a Genius Vision wall-mounted TV? Chance got a TV? What? That is so cool! Um, Shelly Shell's towel ring. Okay, that might not be like the best thing. Towel ring? Well, at least we got something. Okay, what else did we get? It's Anya's turn. Anya got... Kaden, you haven't gotten your presents yet. Um, open, open present. A lucky man folded laundry. <laughs> I don't think that's a good thing. It's like one of those weird de decor pieces. We can sell them bro for, for money. We'll check out what we got. <gasps> oh my goodness! Kaden got another violin? That is so cool. Ila did not get a present. Did she? I feel okay, maybe she did. And I, I mean like this is ticked, so I think it's okay. Okay, Filippo has got the carrot as well. That was kinda cute. I think Christmas is kinda done. Even <laughs> Shigeru is here. I'm glad that they're not like super freaked out about Shigeru being here and Shigeru feels so inspired <laughs> right now. Oh, look at grandpa, the other grandpa being here. That makes me so happy. Oh, grand plans chess table Isla got. Okay, and we have no more presents. That is great. That is fine. I'm curious. So let's pop into the household inventory to see what we have gotten. We have gotten the chess table. We have another one. Maybe we can place it somewhere. Let's just use it. Why not? I'm gonna put it outside. It looks like a very expensive table and it doesn't feel like it should be outside, but you know what? It's okay. I'll get some chairs to go along with it as well. Um, sensible chairs? This chair? This chair is kind of nice for outdoors. Uh, maybe some something like that. I'm not sure what color this is, but whatever. <laughs> and then we got the folded laundry. 
not need it this towel thing do we need this we don't have this style in our house so i'm just gonna say no and throw it away and then we have this tv we have a new tv okay let's see where should we put it we don't have a lot of tvs at home okay no i just saw two how is that not enough tv and um i oh my goodness this frame is burned and I didn't know. We'll have to fix that. And the, the lighting as well. I just saw it. I suppose we could have it in the family room. But I feel like there's so many TVs everywhere. Like, we don't even watch that much TV in this household. I'm gonna sell it. It's like $3,000. So let's just sell it. And we got some candle. We could use the candle. Oh, it was here. I remember now. I replaced it for the Christmas decorations. But I'm gonna put it back now and sell the Christmas decorations. And Winterfest is over soon. I don't think I'm gonna take it down until the snow stops being there. And the, the, the Christmas tree is gonna stay up until the snow melts as well. I think that's all the presents that we got that is in the household inventory. Um, the rest of them, I'm just going to ignore. <laughs> it's in their inventory, it's theirs. I know I was like kind of talking about paying attention to Caden, but I always get distracted when it comes to Caden. I do really want to have Caden have a slumber party, but I feel like this will have to happen like in the spring or summertime when it's like a little bit warmer out and we have the treehouse settled for Caden and his remaining 15 days as a child. With that being said, it is time for us to leave this episode today. It has been a full one. I think, I hope, um, I have divulged some new information that I've been debating on how I can, you know, relay it to you about Shoji and his backstory and stuff. Um, if Roxanne is going to have a future with Shoji, he will have to know that at some point. I hope this was a nice episode for you. This is definitely a little bit more interesting than what I experienced the last time I tried to film this. And thank you so much for your patience if you were waiting for me to upload and if you um, just found the series and you've been enjoying it, thank you so much for for watching all the way to today's episode because it's um, a very long it's a very long series and it's going to forever be long so because I'm, I'm planning to play through their story forever uh, but anyways oh, I love it I love oh my god Roxanne is a handsome handsome boy but yeah <laughs> oh I'm so distracted because I haven't been here in a while so everything just feels so fresh and new and I can finally see with like clean bright untainted eyes again um it is a it is definitely a little bit more of a casual episode and i'm a little bit looser with my words i'm not sure if this is going to be how things are going to go on from now on because sometimes you know like when you overthink and you want to do the best work ever you just like kind of halt yourself and like kind of hold yourself back a little bit and when i say you i really mean me i don't know if you experience this at all but i do um but enough rambling i'm gonna go now so thank you so much for watching all the way to this point if you have if you enjoyed what you watch definitely drop me a like and um you know do the all the youtube thingies i appreciate you very much and see you in my next video bye guys for you, just like i'm supposed to do i'm yours you're mine Sure, I've been there too. We just pick up where we left off, then we tow the line. That's fine.